the most important event in the history of the world was Calvary. God came down. He'd taken human nature and he hangs on a cross as though rejected by heaven and rejected by earth. And yet, it's a symbol of the last judgment. He's above the people and he's in the centre, a thief on each side. And he distributes eternal life to the believer on the right. And the other man, by neglecting Jesus, neglects eternal life. So Calvary is a picture of the last great day with Jesus dividing the lost from the saved. And the saved are not predestinated people. They're ones who have said, Lord, remember me. They're ones who believe and trust in Jesus Christ. Never forget 2 Corinthians 5.14. If one died for all, then all died. We were all on that cross in our representative. I have paid for all my sins, past, present and future, in Jesus, my Lord, my Saviour, my substitute, my representative. What he did, I'm counted as doing if I trust him. My friends, Calvary is the main answer to predestination. Calvary is a record of great love. Hear him say, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Hear him say to a thief, and if a thief had a chance, I've got one. I say to you today, you'll be with me in paradise. See how he remembers his mother. Woman, behold thy son. Son to John, behold thy mother. The central word of the seven sayings, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? God had to forsake his son for the sin of the world was upon him. All your sin was upon him. All my sin was upon him. And he goes through the agony of the lost because he loves us. And he says, I thirst because he thirsts for our love. And then he can say it's finished. He's done the greatest work ever done in the world. He's redeemed the lost people. Father of thy hands, I commit my spirit. On the cross in great pain, suffering, but resigned to the will of God. Dear friends, you and I both want salvation. If we are resigned to the will of God, if we can love to some degree like that shown on Calvary, we have eternal life. God bless you.